Phil and Matt on Mix FM, brought to you by Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline. How manly do you feel when you say that? I feel really manly, but not as manly as you will with your new segment tonight. Yes, I've got a new segment, and I've got a really embarrassing story involving me and my friend's toilet. Is that all? That's <laughs> all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> well, here's Beyonce Niles' new one on Mix FM. <laughs> 101.1 Mix FM, it's Phil and Matt here, brought to you by Maybelline. Maddie, you've got an embarrassing story I, to tell I, us. I certainly do. The other day, I was at my friend's house and, and we had a couple of drinks and we stayed the night and then the morning yep. after, I had to go to the toilet, as, as people do. And uh, I was in there and I was in there for a good, you know, 10 minutes or so, got through my first roll yes, of toilet paper. Yep. <laughs> first two and, magazines. Yeah, and then I decided <laughs> to flush. And I thought that the water would go down, and instead it, it, it rose. rose. And I think that's probably the most scary thing for a human being to wi- to see when you're in the toilet and it just doesn't go down. You go, no, no, what are you doing? Go the other way. Exactly, and I was, it, it rose and it was up pretty high, and, and it was clogged. So I got the brush out and I tried to break the, the paper apart and try and get it down, and it didn't yeah. go down. And after about you know ten minutes or so, I I, I, th- I thought I needed to come out and tell people <laughs> that I've clogged clean. the toilet, and uh, and when I came out, I didn't realise this at the time, but my friend's girlfriend's friend just rocked up, and yes. I've never met her before, mm-hmm. and the first the first words she heard me say were, <laughs> I've, "I've clogged the toilet." <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Matt. Mix FM. 101.1 Mix FM with Phil and Matt. Saw 3 is out now, and I can tell you from personal experience, it is a very, very scary film. It's so scary, you'll crap your pants. <laughs> He's the Rogue Traders on Mix FM. It's Mix FM with Phil and Matt, brought to you by Maybelline. Now, Maddie, this is a bit I've been looking forward to, and I know everyone else has. New, New segment. segment, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, it was Halloween the other day, right? Mm-hmm. And something really, really dodgy You have happened. to tell us what it is. That's a trouble. I'll tell you. In a little okay. segment I'll have to call Social Crimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm annoyed because it's an American tradition, yeah. mm-hmm. and you see the Aussie kids walking around. They're, they're not really into it. Yeah, no, they're not. And no one in, no one in Australia really knows it's Halloween, <laughs> except when they get the knock on the door. Oh, uh, okay, and then have to try and fumble around looking for I, fake lolly. I have to give fruit. I have to give fruit. Yeah, you're one of those mm. fruit people. Yeah, I'm the fruit guy. And, uh, yeah, so a girl came into my house the other day, yeah. and she was just wearing a cape. But it wasn't even a cape. It was one of those sun reflectors <laughs> that you put up to block the sun out of your car. What sort of a costume is that? I know. And um, so I gave them some lollies, and they left. You gave them lollies? Well... Yeah, you can't do that. I didn't want to see no, mean. You can't complain about this and then give them lollies. Well, what are you That's supposed wrong. to do? You can't say... That's your social crime, They friend. could egg the house. I don't want an egg <laughs> house. The trick. I don't want no trick. Mix FM. Fill them out on Mix 101.1, brought to you by Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Now, Matty, I ran into a mate's ex the other night, and you might have thought, could have been a little bit awkward, because, you know... Mate's ex. Mate's ex, yeah, exactly. But I think she wants the fill. I'm thinking that. I've Does she know you call yourself the <laughs> fill? Because no. if she knows that, she might not want to go out with you. No, but I uh, I kind of turned her down a little bit. Why? Oh, the mate's ex etiquette, you know, was is there a time limit? Why are you I'll asking out? why are you asking me? I don't know, I just That's like asking Stevie Wonder to judge a bikini <laughs> contest. I need some uh, help because I'm not it. sure. Am I allowed to go there? Would you want to do a do you want to do a phone pop? Yeah, yeah. We'll get callers, alright? Yeah. All okay, right. well if uh, you can help out Phil, give us a call on thirteen ten ten and uh, see if you can help Phil out. Yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> the results are in Phil. Yeah, yeah. And uh twenty percent of the people said date me. Date you. No, That's date hot. you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, 80% of the people said, no, actually, it was 40 40, the other, yeah. the other bits. 40% said go for it, the other 40% said don't go there. It's okay. not worth risking the friendship. Oh. Yeah. Wow. We've actually got the friend on the phone. Oh. Yeah, he left a message. Here we're we play, go. We're going to play it for you now. <laughs> Mate, don't even think about it. I know where you live. <laughs> wow. I know. <laughs> That's awkward. Does that help at all? Mm, yeah. It does. Yeah, I that's... think you can guess what my decision's going to be. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well. All right, well, that's the end of the show for tonight. Um, oh, make sure you stick around for the top ten at ten tonight. What time's that on? Ten. Ah, okay. yeah. I'm confused. Yeah. Well, there's a new number one tonight anyway, so well, it should be should be a good one. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Catch you later, guys. Have a good night.